Yo, this is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13, and this is Ryan's 2013 Camaro that really needs to get a wash, but I ain't gonna hate on him because he brought his car and waited oh so patiently so I could get him into the schedule. So let's talk about this gangsta stuff that we did to his car. First of all, this is what we started with. This is a rear reflector housing for a Chevy Camaro. I'd actually never worked on this generation Camaro with the rear reflectors, only the projectors. The goal was halos, color changing, flow series, halo, 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 halos. So not only did we add fog lights to this vehicle, which are the Morimoto XBs, but I added 100 millimeter halos around them. And then for the headlights themselves, I did a projector retrofit. It's the Evo XR projector that is in there, along with a black Apollo 3.0 shroud and a 150 millimeter flow series halo. Both these halos are from Next Level Neo, and of course they are Blue Ghost controlled. Also rocking the diode dynamics are GBW demonize in these things, and so everything lights up and looks ballin'. Check it out, that's a white demon eye, that's a red demon eye, that's a green demon eye, and that is a blue demon eye. Thank you, Diode Dynamics, for the amazing products. They look so sweet in this vehicle. Next up, let's turn on some halos. Check it out, that is pure white, because this is RGBW chips. We got a pure blue, got a pure green, and a pure red. All right, but we're not really interested in solid color stuff. What we're interested in is all of the colors of the rainbow. So check that out. This is the kaleidoscope mode. Of course, there are a billion other different modes. This is hyperspectral. It chases side to side. We can only accomplish looks like this with Blue Ghost. Come on, camera, gotta focus for me, all right? I'm a little excited for you to not be able to focus. How about some blinky blinkies? This is crossfire. Oh no, we need some more. Well, let's get on some meteor shower. Wait, crossfire? fire and meteor shower what's going on here oh my god let's put on slats look at slats so this is of course synced right now where the lower halo and the upper halo i got them aligned right in the middle which is a really nice touch so it looks like they're flowing together and that is of course what we're going for here that's another mode i mean you've already seen this stuff before if you watch any of my videos you know what blue ghost can do this is going to be cylon which is one of my faves because it goes back and forth back and forth and of course i've got the colors on purple and orange because because I've got a Halloween spirit in my soul. I hooked the fog lights into the parking lights, so those come on anytime with parking lights, and also swapped out those dual filament bulbs with the Morimoto switchback bulbs. So they are like wicked bright. I'm gonna come over to the side here so you can see they are white, and then they will blink amber with the turn signal. Speaking of turn signals, check out the super rad turn signals. What, how could you not want this in your life? This is beautiful, I love it. Yo, but for real, this is a pretty insane setup. Look Look at the seizures, what epilepsy warning. Hey, while I'm not on the topic, let me go off on a little tangent. First of all, the way that this halo is mounted on the front here, I think is super stellar. I think it looks really clean. However, the way that I mounted it in the headlight itself, I don't know, I'm feeling a little back and forth about it. Cause what I did was I mounted it to that front bezel rather than back in the reflector bowl, which is what I think that most people would do. So it's actually floating there. It kind of drives my OCD a little bit crazy cause it looks like it's off center, but that's because it's ever so slightly at an angle because the bezel follows the curvature of the car. So if I look at it right like this, you can see that it follows the curvature of the car rather than the projector, which is flat perpendicular against me right now. So let me know what you think, whether or not I'm a total hack job and this is my first headlight retrofit I've ever done, or if you think that I'm an amazing professional headlight boombastic killer. I'm gonna try and show you the startup and shutdown animation from this angle. However, the headlights come on automatically with this car when you turn on the ignition. So it tends to just blur out the image, but let's go for it. Rainbow Road! Rainbow Road off! Now those headlights, by the way, are running a 50 watt Morimoto HID system, so they are wicked bright. I have not aimed them yet tonight, which is, if you can believe it, it's actually not dark, and I finished a job for a change. HID is still king in my book, as long as you know how to work with them. Pricing and product information for this particular build will be in the video description. If you have any questions about the products that I used, or how much this costs, that's where you wanna start. If you find yourself thinking, hmm, I want something like this similar for myself, 
yourself on my car, then head on over to that video description and there is a link to my website. All build requests must be submitted via the form on my website. That is how you enter the future job queue because I am currently still not open to taking on new business. However, I am always considering future potential jobs. So if you want anything, shoot me a build request. That's all I got to say tonight. Thanks so much for watching. This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13. And thank you, Ryan, for bringing your sweet, sweet Camaro into my shop. I hope you like this build, brother. Thank you. Talk to you later. See ya.